Hey, this is Terry, and I want to say thanks for stopping by. I'm actually uh, here in my home office in Atlanta, Georgia. And um, I wanted to, to put this video out because I know a lot of people have questions. If you're just getting started in network marketing, you probably were approached by someone who told you about a great company where you can make a lot of money, and uh, you got excited, you signed up to do the business, and you're like, what do I do now? Uh, some, some people don't have support from their upline. Uh, some people get involved in a home-based business like network marketing, and uh, unfortunately, sometimes their upline is not there to support them. Well, I'm here to support you, and I'm here to tell you what you need to do in your network marketing business to be successful. So I'm going to give you three, three rules that I believe are very important in getting started uh, if you're a newbie. And even if you're not a newbie in network marketing, uh, if you're a veteran and you need to get back on track, these three rules of the game will definitely help you get back on track. The first rule is self-development. You want to definitely make sure that you're creating some type of self-development program for yourself. You're reading books, you're listening to audio tapes, you're watching the DVDs, anything that you can sort of obtain to get the knowledge from people that have been there and people that are doing what you're trying to do. Read books by Robert Kiyosaki, Donald Trump, Dale Carnegie, uh, successful people because that's where you want to be. You want to be like those successful people. So you want to read those books and listen to those audios, CDs by those particular people. Uh, go on Amazon. Look for as many books as you can under self-development. Don't read books about broke people because you don't want to be broke anymore. You want to be one of the wealthy people. That's why you're doing a network marketing business. Read books about people that are making things happen because that's what you want to do. Second thing, second rule of the game, I say, is be a consumer of the product. You can't share testimonies about your business if you don't even use the product yourself. So that's very, very important that if you're going to promote your, your company and promote the product, people are going to ask you, well, how do you like the product? How do you like the service? And you want to be able to say, oh, it's great. You know, I'm getting fantastic results from it. Uh, I've never felt better if you're doing nutritional product or, you know, this product saved me so much money. You want to be able to share some type of testimony because people will test you and they will ask you, well, how long have you been trying out the product and what type of results are you getting? And you want to be able to share truthful testimony. The third thing, and not last, uh, not last but not least, I should say, is that you want to have some type of set schedule for your business. If you're working a nine to five job, you have a set schedule for your nine to five job. You get to work at nine, you've got a certain time for breaks, you got a certain time for lunch and then you leave at 5 o'clock. That's your schedule. Have the same schedule for your business because you're working your business for yourself, not for your company, uh, your, your 9 to 5, your corporate job. So have a set schedule where you have a, a time where you follow up with people, have a time where you actually uh, get in touch with people where you're prospecting. If you're working a 9 to 5 job and you come home at 6 o'clock, take about an hour or so to get some lunch or, excuse me, to get some dinner and relax. But don't get too comfortable in front of that TV because that TV can kill your business. Make sure that you set a time. So I get home at 6 o'clock, so at 7.30, I'm going to work the business for an hour and a half. And from 7.30 to 8.30 to 9 o'clock, that's your business that you're following up on calls and you're prospecting people and, and you're, just, you're working your business. When you're in your office, if you have a home office, you want to make sure that you tell whoever you're with whether it's your family members or whether it's your kids, listen, hey, this is the time that daddy is working his business or this is the time that mommy is working the business. If you don't take your business serious, people in your family are not going to take uh, your business serious. So, you know, when you're in the office trying to make a call and they're busting in the room and trying to jump on your lap and play with you uh, and you, you know, you go ahead and encourage that, then they're going to continue to do that. So let them know, hey, this is real important to me because it's going to allow me to spend more time with you, definitely sit down with whoever you're with, whether it's a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a husband or a wife or any family member, and say, hey, from this time to this time, I'll be working on my business and I need your support. Uh, so definitely please don't disturb me and at least try to give me some space and some quiet time. So I hope these three tips help you out. Um, definitely if you got any questions, I'm here to help you out. My website is www.newnewmlmleads.info. Again, that website, again, is newmlm, 
lead, L-E-A-D-S dot info. Definitely uh, take a look at the site. If you got any questions, I'm here to definitely work with you and help you get to the next level. My name is Terry Moore, and I appreciate your time. Take care.